About six years ago, I started a product design and development and manufacturing company here in Bozeman. Working at Autopilot is really cool because I get exposed to lots of really, really cool ideas. And I wanted to talk to you about theory of constraints and throughput accounting today because these topics have truly changed the way I think. And I can't say that for a lot of the projects and ideas that I see in my business. Um, I graduated from Montana State University uh, College of Engineering, which is hundreds of yards away from the College of Business, where they teach you how to read financial statements. In addition, um, back in college, um, I went over to that col the, the College of Business one time, and they have a completely different guy-to-girl ratio over there, <laughs> um, and a different smell. Um, <laughs> But I spent my time after college and before uh, starting Autopilot, working on really cool projects, getting good at making things, and then more recently building a team of people to do the same. These projects, along with my role in them, have an interesting synergy with the theory of constraints. Every project we work on, every product we design and manufacture solves a constraint for a customer. <clears throat> we are helping our clients achieve their goals, and in this case, a friend, um, by breaking their constraints, by eliminating roadblocks. <clears throat> and it's, it's fairly easy to identify the constraint that needs broken when working for a client because they typically bring it to you on a plate. Working, identifying the constraint that, I internal to our own company, is not so trivial. First, we need to identify our goal. Dr. Eli Goldratt, the genius that developed the theory of constraints, spelled it out for us in his 1984 book, The Goal. And uh, he handed our goal to us on a plate just like our customers do. So anyway, now I have this cool business. I've got all these great clients and a great staff. And people commonly get into business by accident. They, they are passionate about something enough to drop everything and do it for a living and risk it all. <clears throat> and from a business standpoint, they have no professional training or no credentials to do so. We run our businesses off of intuition. We know our work, we know our customers, we know our industry, and we have no idea how to read a financial statement when it shows up on our desk. That was certainly the case for me. I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing. I had no plan. All I knew is that I had customers and I was gonna make it work. Well, our goal is to be profitable now and in the future. I'll let you speculate on the consequences of not accomplishing that goal. <clears throat> what is keeping us from achieving that goal? What is our constraint? Could it be sales and marketing? Could it be billable machine time? Could it be billable man hours? Or how about management attention? The one resource that is keeping us, keeping, keeping, um, Limiting our, our company's ability to produce revenue is our constraint. So now I want to actually talk to you about the most exciting form of accounting in the world. I'll repeat the two important words from that sentence. <laughs> exciting and accounting. <laughs> Throughput accounting is another way to analyze and drive the performance of a business. It's a product of the theory of constraints and it has really helped me personally better understand my company, Autopilot. In throughput accounting, we, we dump all of the items off of the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow statement into three buckets that are easy to understand and help make decisions. They are inventory, operating expense, and throughput. Let's say your company goal is to make money by selling widgets. This amazing product is made of wood cheese, nails, and duct tape, is clearly going to solve pretty much every problem in the world. And we, I mean, we could probably offer this as a universal solution to all of our customers' problems. Here's a look at the sophisticated manufacturing process that it takes to manufacture the widget. Now, in order to make this widget, we need to make an investment. I use the words investment and inventory interchangeably in this, in this type of accounting. My investment is all the money that's tied up in the system, 
in inventory, uh, finished widgets that we've manufactured that we haven't sold yet, raw materials, equipment, tools, etc. And uh, then we, need, we can't make these widgets for free, so we need some operating expense. Our employee and our power for our factory and also our rent for our factory space. The third bucket is throughput. If I sell this widget for $100 and I subtract out the direct materials, I have $90. Um, throughput is the rate at which you generate money th through sales. So if I sell one widget in a day, I have $90 worth of throughput. If I sell 100 widgets in a day, I have $9,000 worth of throughput. One, bad, 100, good. Having only three numbers to work with makes it a lot simpler and a lot easier to focus on the bucket that matters. Red flag areas quickly rise to the surface. I can, I can easily see how many dollars per day it takes to keep the doors open for my factory. I can look at how much money we made yesterday. Was it enough or not enough to keep the doors open? Most importantly, um, we can focus on what we need to to introduce change into the system so that we can improve. We can easily identify the constraint and we can focus on it. I personally have found theory of constraints and throughput accounting to be very helpful in running autopilot on a daily basis, accomplishing our goals, and better understanding the company. Today I simply wanted to share this body of knowledge with Bozeman, make you aware that it exists, it's not rocket science, and encourage you to go out and do some more research on it on your own. Now, everyone in Bozeman is uh, familiar that there's a recommended level of radon that you can be exposed to before it becomes unhealthy or dangerous. And it's no different for accounting. So, <laughs> with that said, I encourage you to race out to the lobby and pick up your widget. Thank you.